Welcome to Don's Keeper. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the MicroPython firmware for your microcontroller device. I have here certain prerequisites that we need to accomplish before we can continue with the installation steps. First, prepare your microcontroller board and plug it in into your laptop or workstation. You need to have the USB cable also and connect the USB cable between your laptop and your microcontroller unit. Next, check if you have already installed the USB driver for your device. For you to do this, just go into your device manager if you are in Windows and verify in the port section if a COM port is already assigned for your microcontroller. If it's not assigned, then you can, we can download the USB driver for our microcontroller unit. In my case, I'm using the ESP32 and the driver is a Silicon Lab CP210X driver. So I just downloaded the driver in here and installed it in my device. Next, we need to download several softwares. One is the Python. So just go into the Python site and then click the download section for our Python. And select which OS you are. And mine is, I'm using Windows, so I downloaded the Windows section. Once you are done with the installation of the Python, download the MicroPython firmware for your microcontroller. In order to do that, just go to the micropython.org site, click the download section. In the download section, select your microcontroller unit. I just select ESP32 in here and select the ESP32 specific. When I am here, you would see the list of firmware. In my case, I just downloaded the latest release, which is dated 2022-0618. And there are several instructions in here on how to do that. We'll follow these steps later in the installation instruction. Now, we need to follow the installation steps for our microcontroller. In order to do that, just go again in the micropython.org, select the doc section this time, and then select your microcontroller from the list in here. In my case, I'm using ESP32, so I'll download the ESP32. I click on the MicroPython tutorial and then click on the Getting Started. In the Getting Started section, I have here the deploying the firmware part. So if you would take a look, you would see that you need to install certain Python packages, in this case, which is the ESP tool. So uh, as a matter of personal preferences, whenever I do or need to install a Python packages, what I'm doing is I'm creating a Python virtual environment for that project so that we will remove the dependency collisions or problems later on. The reason why is that several projects could have different dependencies or different versions of Python packages that they need and Python virtual environment will separate each of each dependencies of, of each project. I'll show you the steps on how to do this as, as this is really very easy. Once we are done with the installation, once you are done with the installation, then just copy the MicroPython firmware in any directory that, that is available to you. In my case, I just created the C MicroPython. Next, we open the command prompt. And then go into the section. Once we are here in the folder, we just follow the steps that is being said in here. So in my case, we just first need to activate our virtual environment. In order to do that, we're going to execute this step, which is the pi-m, and the name of the module is bnb, and we're going to create a virtual environment called dot bnb. What this will do is it will create a folder called .bnb that will contain our virtual environment, which is separate from the Python package installations. Now that we are done, the next thing that we need to do is to activate the virtual environment. And in order to do, uh, in order to do that, just execute the .bnb, and then scripts, and then activate. You would notice that there is a dot bnb in here once we have activated our virtual environment then the next step is just to follow the steps that we have in the guide first we need to install the esp tool 
Now we're done with the installations of the ESP tool. The next thing is to follow the steps in here, which is the erase flash. So we'll just replace this one with COM3 since we are in Windows. But if you are in Linux or Mac, then just follow this one. So I'll just go into this link and then click enter. Once you see disconnecting messages, then just let it finish. If ever you encounter any error, like packet header or anything like that, what you would do is just execute the next execute again this command and click the boot button on your ESP32. This would set our ESP32 in boot mode. Now that we're done erasing the flash, we're going to install the MicroPython firmware. And the code will just follow the same steps in here. We just replace the COM3 assignment, the port assignment. Now it's now writing the MicroPython firmware in our ESP32. Let's just wait for it to finish. Okay, and now we're done with the installation of the MicroPython firmware in our microcontroller ESP32. In order for us to test if the installation is finished, then we can use the, we can connect into the serial prompt of our microcontroller. In order to do that, let's, let's just download Putty. And then in the Putty section, just follow this settings. So you, we have serial and the serial line is COM3 and the baud rate should be 115200. And then we click the open. And in the open in here, you would see that this is my microcontroller and this is the REPL prompt for the read, evaluate, print, loop prompt. And we are able to access the microcontroller REPL prompt using the booty. In here, you would will be able to execute certain commands that we'll be able to use to test out our microcontroller. And that's it. So, in summary, we were able to install the MicroPython firmware in our ESP32 using the following series of steps. That's it. I hope you learned something. Happy exploring!